How about the restaurants? Okay, Domino's Pizzas works because they've spent years building out delivery infrastructure, and they're now a pioneer in contactless handoffs. I bet Domino's comes out of this period in much better shape than competition. This pandemic is crushing the mom-and-pop pizza places, sadly. All right. It really is sad when you think about it. It's the same thing with the retailers. We really need that small business bailout money, and we need it fast, or else Domino's wins by default. I believe in the bailout. It's not really a bailout. I believe in helping small businesses, okay? Same goes uh, for Chipotle. Another chain that laid the groundwork for this moment by bulking up their takeout and delivery quality uh, capabilities. I think the stock is a buy even up here. Their balance sheet is so perfect. When you look at the collapse of so many restaurants, especially the ones that were drowning in private equity debt going into this, Domino's and Chipotle are clearly the exception rather than the rule. They belong to the handful of chains that will actually survive this period. Other than retail, the restaurants are the group most damaged by the stay-at-home edicts. The industry will eventually recover, but a lot of the companies might not make it, so a lot of stocks that are down a lot aren't the bargains you think they may be. Here's the bottom line. The stay-at-home economy might seem temporary, but working remotely has so many advantages that I think we might be witnessing a more permanent shift in that direction. That's why I like all these stay-at-home stocks for the long haul. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.